she was cruel, she was evil, she was completely biased. Everything that she is not supposed to be as a judge, that's exactly what she did. That strong rebuke comes from Nashville, Tennessee NAACP President Cheryl Gwynn towards Rutherford County, Tennessee Judge Donna Scott Davenport after an explosive report found she sent juveniles to jail at alarming rates. She literally handcuffed 11 children for watching two six-year-olds fight. Earlier this month, an investigation by ProPublica and Nashville Public Radio discovered Rutherford County Juvenile Detention Center locked up 48 percent of all kids that came before Judge Davenport. Meanwhile, the state average was only 5 percent. At the center of the report, a 2016 case involving students from Hobgood Elementary School in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Eleven young black kids were arrested for simply watching two boys, ages five and six, fight off school grounds. Guidance should have been given to them. We're talking about elementary school children. We're not talking about high school children that are 18 years old. The arrested children were charged with criminal responsibility for conduct of another. In other words, not making an effort to stop another person from committing a crime. Or in this case, not stepping in to stop the fight. But here's the problem. No such law exists for the alleged crime, meaning kids were arrested and some of them jailed for hours for nothing. Now, I don't understand how everyone was complicit with her knowing that this was wrong. Gwen says Rutherford County, Tennessee, which is about 30 miles southeast of Nashville, saw an influx of black residents moving in from neighboring Nashville due to gentrification. She believes Judge Davenport used her position to incarcerate black youth at disproportionate rates as a response to an increasing black population. I think, honestly, people just got scared in Rutherford County. I think the white majority, their position was, is that you know, we've got all of these people moving in. We've got this influx of things that are happening. And basically, we want something done about it. And I think Donna Scott Davenport was one of those people that wanted something done. In 2016, students illegally detained launched a class action lawsuit against Rutherford County. They wanted to eliminate the juvenile court's filter system that began in 2008. But lawyers involved in the case say the county had a long-standing practice of incarcerating children illegally dating back to the 1990s. The filter system required police to bring arrested children to jail, where juvenile detention center staff decided if a child would be detained if they considered them a true threat. But that determination was vague, without clear guidelines. Due to the backlog, kids could be locked up for days. The parents are helpless. They can't do anything to, to, to try to, to speak to the officers and tell them that, look, my child is a good child. Let's, let, let's work, let's, let's put some services in place. All of that is falling on deaf ears because Judge Donna Scott Gap Davenport said to these officers, no, bring them in. In June of this year, a settlement was reached worth $11 million. Lawyers involved say 1,500 children are eligible to make claims for compensation if they were illegally incarcerated. The settlement has been filed in federal court for final approval. Atlanta Black Star reached out to Rutherford County for comment from Judge Davenport or county officials on the allegations in the class action suit. Rutherford County Mayor Bill Ketron told us in a statement, I share our community's concern over a news story involving Rutherford County's juvenile justice system. The county is limited in what it can discuss. With that said, changes to the system were put in place in 2017 to ensure the county is strictly following federal and state laws regarding arresting and detaining juveniles. The Middleton, Tennessee State University president told Atlanta Black Star the school has since cut ties with Judge Davenport, who served as an adjunct professor. Judge Davenport has been in power since 2000 and still holds her position as juvenile judge. Gwen says if local residents want change, they must vote during next year's election. No one needs to let this go and say, well, this this happened and we just need to move forward. No. You can't move forward if she's still in power. Reporting for Atlanta Black Star, I'm Kevontae Smalls.